Welcome back. Each year, the Berkeley Hall Charitable Foundation does some wonderful things right here in the Bluffton community. Last week, their member mingle kicked off their fundraising season and honored some grant recipients. Robin Zimmerman was there, so let's take a look at some of the highlights. Hi, I'm Robin Zimmerman reporting for WHHI-TV. We're here at Berkeley Hall at the Member Mingle event where 19 local nonprofit organizations have received grants from the Charitable Foundation. It's a big celebration tonight. I'm here with Adrian Morris, who is the general manager of Berkeley Hall. Welcome, and it's so good. Tonight is an exciting event Absolutely. that really began in your office years Absolutely. ago. You're right, it started in my office back in 2008. Two of our members that uh, came into my office and said we want to start a charity foundation or char do a charity event, a golf event in 2009 and we said okay let's make it happen and then after about three or four years we decided it was so successful we should form a foundation and then a foundation has been formed and it's a 501c3 and we've got great leadership and a great great process ever since and they've raised over 1.2, 1.3 million dollars so it's a huge it's a huge commitment to the local community and we as a club are always that's one of our, our big missions, is, is, is to support the local Bluffton community, so we take that very seriously. I'm here with Lily Coleman, Executive Director of Second Helpings, receiving a grant today. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, we're very excited. So talk to me a little bit about Second Helpings and what you all do. Second Helpings is the only agency that rescues food from the grocery stores in the area and some restaurants, and we distribute the food to agencies who give it to people in need. How many people would you say you serve in a year? How many... How much food do you actually deliver? Well, we rescued 3 million pounds of food in 2018, and we feed about 45,000 meals. We are about 80% of the food that any agency gives out. It comes off the Second Helping's trucks. I'm with Steve Maglioni and Kara Artman from PEP. So one of the organizations that is receiving a grant from Berkeley Hall Charitable Foundation. So let's find out a little bit more about PEP. What does PEP stand for, Steve? Well, PEP is an acronym. It stands for Programs for Exceptional People. When we work with people in the community, our folks have um, intellectual disabilities. So we work with them and teach um, activities of daily living. And probably our most signature program is so the ceramics, ceramics program. program. <laughs> so Kara, talk about that. So the members get to come in and they get to choose what dishes they would like to make, the textures they want to put on it. And after they get fired, they get to choose what color they're going to have it be. They're very artistic. The Berkeley Hall Charitable Foundation has supported us the last three years. Jim McCarl is with me. He is the chairman of the board for the Charitable Foundation. And we're going to talk with him just uh, a few minutes about what's going on tonight. How excited are you? I am totally excited. It's amazing to be able to help all these charities out because our vision is to help those that can't help themselves in uh, the Bluffton area. You know, we take something out of the community every day and we've got to, you know, give back to the community to make the community a better place. It has been a great night tonight. The members of Berkeley Hall have had a chance to mix and mingle and get to know the local nonprofit leaders in this community. 